Well, after all the season's gift giving, hundreds of people splurged on themselves this morning and are ready to toast the new year with a freshly stocked bar. They sure are. And our Fox 26 business reporter Tom Ziska is live tonight to explain why a thousand people waited in line to buy their favorite bottles of bourbon. Tom. Jonathan Rossi, good evening to you. Uh, yeah, and my, you'll hear my dog in the background. He's very excited about this as well. I'm not talking about just any bottles. I'm talking about hard to find bottles like, like this one I got uh, about last uh, summer. I just happened upon it. Um, as bourbon popularity grows, the list of hard to find varieties gets longer and longer. So each year, once a year, Specs the liquor retailer gathers all it can find and then opens the door to its thirsty customers. Like a Black Friday for booze, Specs is open for business for its annual Bourbon Release Day. Outside, the line winds around the block twice. A thousand people, all behind Raquel Harris, who's been waiting 48 hours for the doors to open. I am here for all the bourbon. All of it. I want it all. Thank you. Inside, customers have a chance to collect bottles they may have never seen before. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, Specs Pick. This is the Mictor's uh, Barrel Proof Rye. We have Blanton's Bourbon. Even rare 10 year old. I'll do the Waller Single Barrel. Each of the dozens of selections have been curated over the year by Specs buyers who find a barrel or two of hard to find varieties that are bottled just for this event. Each of these have a different story, different barrels they're done in, and the different ways that they're made. It makes them very special. So what this is is really supply and demand. Uh, there are a limited amount of bottles that people want, and everybody wants a chance to buy them. Let's get some eight. And they do buy. In two short hours, nearly all of the special selections will be gone. Some bringing up notable totals to own something rare. I can't complain. This is a great day. This is awesome stuff. This is awesome. <laughs> How awesome? Just ask Raquel Harris. I got the good stuff. I'm excited. I don't even, I'm speechless. Speechless indeed. Now, what people do with their bottles of bourbon varies. Some will drink, some will collect, some will sell on the resale market, secondary market. That bottle of old Rip Van Winkle that Raquel Harris found, she bought it for about 100 bucks. On the secondary market, its price tag is almost $1,500. Hundred dollars. She assures me she promises she plans to drink it responsibly. Watching your money tonight, Tom Ziska, Fox 26 News. Uh, Tom Raquel definitely seemed happy, and I was surprised that she waited 48 hours. But for some people, it's worth it, I guess. It was uh, literally, I talked to the last guy in line, number 1,000, and he said, yeah, I saw these people. I thought maybe I'll give it a go. That stuff went away in two hours' time. It was insane. Ah, oh, love it. Wow. Tom Ziska live for us. Happy New Year, Tom. Thank you.